G'day everyone, Terence here from Terence the Terror Gaming. I uh, hope you go all going well. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to uh, do a video lately as I have been busy school holidays uh, looking after children and uh, going back to my parents for a little, uh, week, uh, which is good. good to get away from it all. Um, so we're going to be doing a uh, another mod review on a Mercedes Antoros Antros, um, by D3S Design. Uh, this was released uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, I think it was, yeah, I can't remember the actual date. But it has uh, just been revived by um, um, another modder for the 1.35 uh, update by Bob R40. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, in the description f for where I found the mod. Uh, but it's pretty easy. It's on the SCS website uh, in the ETS2 uh, truck modding um, folder under the D3S uh, design um, uh, title uh, so we might as well get back into it and have a look at the mod uh, where are we truck dealers um, so as always we've only got the actual mod running we don't have any other mod mods running at the moment Ah, oh, oops, wrong one. There we go. Um, so, yeah, we're purely just judging the mod for its uh, on its own merits. Uh, and before we really start cracking into it, um, if you do have any uh, comments or if you dislike the video in any way, um, please leave a comment down below so that I uh, can improve. Um, that's what I'm here to do, improve and make better videos for your uh, entertainment really. So let's get into it. Uh, so there's two different uh, cabins. The Classic M Cab 320 or the Classic Space M Cab 170. Uh, all I could pick was one lifting up a little bit higher, a little bit extra space there. Um, but I do believe they all come in the same, they've all got the same uh, chassis. Uh, so the first chassis is an 18 ton 4x2 600 litre tank. So we've only got the one tank. Uh, 18 ton 4x2 1000 litres so you've got two two tanks uh, 600 and 400 I think it would be uh, 500 so and uh, I don't know what the N and R means but it drops the um, chassis down lower and also the shift wheel fifth wheel looks like it is suppressed down more so a lowering of it uh, an 800 litre of the lower version uh, 26 ton um, 6x2 4 VLA mid lift 600 litres so 6 by I'm pretty sure they will be uh, 6x2, 4, ah oh, yeah, so that will be all driving, 6x2-2 two tag lift, so there should be a drive axle at the back there, and a 480 litre, the 6x4, and then we go into our uh, rigid versions, which is a 4x2 low frame, which actually looks pretty good. 
26 times 6 by 2, 2 lower. Uh, your wheelbase, I would say, is uh, 4.6 meters with a 500 liter tank. And then your longer wheelbase one there. And a 6x2 2. And then just changing it to a tag lift at the back. And changing uh, the uh, capacity for your diesel. Um, I think we might just go the 4x2 low frame rigid chassis I'll give that a look uh, we have a couple of different engines ranging from a 625 horsepower all the way back down to a 326 um, all Mercedes engines uh, we will go middle of the range like a 449 I doubt there would be a difference between the blue tech uh, uh, they, they do change your literage from a 10 litre to 12 litres to your 15s but I doubt the um, sound would change between them as they're all Mercedes engines uh, there's only how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six gearboxes you can choose from. Uh, 16 speed, 12 speed, 12 speeds with retarders, changing your ratios. Uh, 12 speed with retarder is still changing your ratio. 16 speed with retarder. Different ratios and diff ratios, and again, the same thing. So that will then just affect you what cargo really that you want to be carrying. We will go the 12 speed one there. Uh, interior, you've got your classic almost SES like uh, interior. Then the one with the wood, wood grain through it, oh, and then a chrome one, which yeah, looks pretty disgusting, an exclusive black one, so it's got yellow, which looks disgusting, wood grain through that, and a chrome one. I'm almost going to say the first one looks the best, just the standard which we'll keep. Uh, paints. Uh, the only thing I found with this uh, mod was when you do a skin or a paint uh, on the base, like the base mod, before you uh, start adding in uh, skin mods, um, it doesn't change uh, the curtain size. Um, on the tra it's not really a trailer but uh, the body of the truck uh, so you got your amber uh, you have your custom color so you choose whatever color you want then you got amber glory metallic green citron metallic uh, you can make your own metallic just make sure it works. Changes that color. That one's changing, and this one should be able to be seen on that top corner there. If it, if I get the little thing, yep, you can see it changes color there. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference is between the metallic and the custom metallic colour. Uh, but yeah, we know the metallic works. Uh, and then you got a couple of skins. Uh, King's Customs. Then you have... Ooh, that's... Oh yeah. 
that is working. It's going to say that's not working, but it is. Uh, your standard ones, carbon olive, digitized reality, uh, which we've all seen before. Uh, Euro cement. Euro cement. Looks like it may even be a Russian company. Uh, or there's a few uh, skins here. It looks like another Russian one. Uh, Northern Lights. Russian Smoke. THK. Which I'm not 100% sure what that is, uh, but that's another company I would say for European and then your other standard uh, skins there. Oh, I did like this one. Oh. No, I like the Euro Cement one for some reason. If that went all the way through, it'd be, I'd let, I reckon it would look pretty good. So there is a few accessories that we can change on it. Well, uh, hopefully we don't miss any when we're going through. So from the bottom, you got your lower grill uh, bar if you want to put one on. Uh, it's a doorstep, which we'll look. Here we go. Uh, your bumper, you got a plastic, a plastic with the lower lights added in. Then you can paint it and then paint it with those lower lights in, which we will do. And that's the same but on the opposite side. Uh, if you want to put a shield around your lights, or if not, and that's the same uh, mod headlights. If you want a plastic light, plastic paint, more. Well, that said, headlights there, but it's changing the in, inner part of this grill for some reason. So if you want a bit of chrome, if you want to paint it all, plastic and paint, or just all plastic, we will go plastic and paint, I think. Uh, it's headlights, but... That headlight one is that inside part of that front bump, front bumper there. Uh, all your SCS um, bull bars, if you want to put a bull bar on there. Uh, front grill guard. That's all. Some of them almost. Uh, yeah, SCS full bars but just in different position and can be painted uh, if you wanted to put a sign on there what is that? Oh, that's the same if it's closed let's close over one I'd say this would be another sign on the opposite side uh, grill if you wanted to paint a grill or a painted chrome one, which we will do, we'll put that paint chrome one on there. Uh, if you want to put that sort of on this skin, it doesn't look good. Uh, your driver's plate, co driver's plate, uh, front mirror, if you want to put one on can paint it, plastic and paint, or paint the whole lot. I would like to remove it, but I can't. Uh, your main mirrors, if you want to paint, plastic and paint them, paint the whole lot, or chrome it. Uh, I think we'll keep the plastic and paint. Uh, obviously that'll be the same on the other side. Uh, that'll be on top, your spoiler. If you've got a, a mid one or a high one, 
Well, there the whole other one. And actually, when I was playing around with it before, it looked pretty good on the uh, other cabin, I would say. Uh, I can't, oh, I've got to get it to there. If I want to remove it, yep. Uh, sun visor, if you want to, all your different types of sun visors. Very standard one. You only got the one choice that you can just choose if you want to paint it or um, chrome it. And there's no different ones, or you can uh, remove it. You can't choose different ones. The light bar, beacons. Oh, you can actually put beacons on. That's pretty cool. They've got their own selection of beacons. Or an actual and another light bar there, which is good. If we were in a bigger truck, that'd be pretty cool. Horn, get your horn on the other side as well. Cabin part plastic. Ah, uh, this just says. Does it include the front? Yep. So all your plastic trimming around your windows, if you want to paint that. Which, oh, now we're getting a lot of orange. We will do though, I think. Where will that go, Chrome? Just on your washers there. Uh, your door steps. So if you want different ones. Uh, cab door step, just your top one. What do we got? Ninjas, ninja door handle. That's all just changing it between paint and chrome. We'll put a little bit of bling there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, sort of a skirt around there or a fender. Around the edge of the wheel there. Uh, there's a couple of tyres that you can choose from other than your standard ones. A couple of rims as well that are on there that you can choose from the there. Um, a bit weird. What do I look alright? About twenty two and a half. Two white lines. White one. Yep, I'll keep that. Ah, uh, that dutch is spoiler up the top there, what we looked at before, side skirts. That's not really side skirts, that's just like a oh, side, side. If you want to paint it or keep it plastic, the protection up the front there. Uh, the bodies of the trucks you can change the back of, depending on one you prefer if you want a profile line of 700 or your MCS uh, profile line of 7000 or an MCS 7000 we'll go the MCS change your tires I wonder what this look like if you're 19s that still Looks a bit weird, maybe if we put 19s on the front as well. Oops. Sorry about that. Where were we? I want to put 19s on the front to see what it looks like. And 
has a <coughs> lower the truck. That's I did. No, I got twenty two and a half, and twenty two and a half on the back. There we go. Uh, and that should be it for the outside. Three new tires, body, and socket. It's protection up there. A spoiler. And on the inside, from going left to right, your mirrors, as we did on the outside. Windshield corner for your glitch navigator. All set up on a mod. Driver's plate, front glass. It's not, what does it say? A thermal, a thermal glass or clear glass. So we'll go to clear glass. Uh, we've got up here sun visors. Ah, oh, it's on the outside, sorry. Uh, curtains. Had any of that running, you'd be able to put curtains on, windshields, hanging items, dashboard dots, co driver's plate, your main mirrors, your uh, side mirror there, which we didn't see on the outside, but we'll, we'll paint it. Uh, more console items, your seating item. So if you had uh, like your Cecil's Mega Pack or uh, um, very similar mods running, you'd be able to put different things in here uh, as long as this mod was supported. Was supported then, um, which I think it would. On most levels, and if you want to change your steering wheel. Um, other than that, that's all. And we will have a quick look at it from the outside. Doesn't look too bad. I'd just prefer it if it if we were able to put uh, the skin onto the curtain side. But we'll take it for a test drive and see how it goes. you back at the point of where I'm just about to purchase a truck. Uh, I'm sorry about that. It is my fault. See you soon. Welcome back. Uh, so we've just purchased a truck uh, and moved it into our garage. So just ready for our test drive. Uh, we'll start her up and make sure everything's working. <laughs> Indicator's working. Indicator's working. Wipers are working. Uh, lights are working. See the back of the truck, which is a little bit disappointing. That's what it is. Uh, no, I can't 
see in the back there, but there we go. Sorry about that, that's another one of my stuff ups. Um, we'll go for a drive now and see how it actually drives and give it a rating. Seems to drive fine so far. Uh, there's no notchiness to it or anything. Uh, and it drives really good. But it does, because I do have it running in the stand, which is accelerates rather quickly. Um, standard uh, interior. It feels a bit like um, uh, an SCS truck from a base game. Exhaust brake and, and the sounds sound uh, very SCS like, like the um, Mercedes Actros one. We'll just go over to our thing up here uh, and give it a rating have a quick look over it but I don't have any glaring faults there's no big holes in the truck that I've seen when it loaded up at the garage it seemed to be perfectly fine Take a photo and I will give it a rating. And then there we go. Does not look like a bad truck. Quickly take this photo. The Mercedes Antos. Um, so looking at it, I think you get a fair bit for the mod. Um, even though it's still like a uh, very similar to your SES uh, trucks. You get your actual uh, rigids in there. Uh, they've done a fair bit on your chassis and uh, stuff like that. So, um, and I'm certain uh, I didn't look it up, but um, I'd be a hundred percent sure, like ninety-nine percent, ninety-nine point nine percent, I guess, sure that there'd be mods out there so that you could change your curtain sides and if you went went and got your um, uh, your loads they, it'd work fine um, so all, all that in mind um, 
I guess we didn't find anything really wrong with it. Oh. Uh, didn't find anything wrong with it at all, really. Um, and we'll give it. I think there's things letting it down. It's there's a lot of accessories on it, but it's just changing from paint uh, or plastic or to chrome. It's not uh, actually really accessorizing the truck that much, uh, which I think lets it down a little bit in that that uh, area. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, point of view. So I'll give it a three and a half. Rubber trucks out of five. Uh, and I guess that brings us to the end of the video. Uh, still, I forgot to take the sun visor off after my little stuff up before. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any uh, comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks. See you next time.